What's up, YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part two for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Genius25 as I stream four days a week. So turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we actually found our sword and we got Tails Cave. So in this episode, we're going to be completing our first dungeon, which is Tails Cave. So let's hop right into this. Let's get it, baby, dude. I'm so hyped. This game is so sick. We're doing our first dungeon already in second episode of this playthrough. That's why I love these games so much. But right here, we got our first dungeon. Look at that. These dungeons are not even like the Divine Beasts like any other game. These are like the original Zelda games. They're so sick. They're just... Puzzle after puzzle, you gotta figure everything out yourself. But here we go, now we're cooking along right here. We got a small key, and now we can make it into this room and chop up these little boys right here. We got these flamethrowers coming out here. We can grab ourselves this chest, and right inside the chest we have the compass. The compass lets you see where chests are at. So it's awesome. So if you check our map right now, you can actually see the chest right here. So we can just see the chest right here, but we don't have the map, so we can't see anything on the map. So we're gonna make our way back to the main floor now that we got the compass, and we're gonna head the other path which is up so let's get going this way look at this and if you actually charge hold down b you can actually charge this up and swing the sword and as you can see the compass just did like a little ring i believe it means that there's a chest in here so if we take out all the enemies here i believe we can hit this path now i thought a small key might have dropped but we get ourselves a chest right here i think that's when the compass rings i think a chest is in that room we're gonna grab ourselves this chest and there we go we got another small key which is awesome. These can actually help us unlock locked doors. We have two of them you can see under our hearts in the top left corner. So we're going to get grooving on to this next little stage. And the door's closed, so we got to destroy all the enemies. Yo, what you want? That thing hit me. Get out of my face. Oh, I want that rupee. Now this door will open up in the top. We're going to head up this way. And we got these little, like, caterpillar things. <laughs> There's the little compass ringing again. So we're just going to keep chopping away here. Seeing what's going on. So we're going to head. Uh, the chest is right here that's talking about. So we're just going to grab this real quick. And we're going to head on. I want to head to the... Uh, that way we were going up last time. Yeah, we got another small key. That is our third small key. So this dungeon is not that hard. It's pretty straightforward. You kind of just like follow the path. There's not really much to do. But you just got to watch out for these little guys right here. This little razor blades. We can actually use one of our small keys to open up, open up this little thing right here. But let me know in the comment section down below. If any of you guys have this game, what do you think so far? Because right now, I'm in love with this game. Ah! Ah, this game is so much fun. I've been having a blast with it so far, even though we've only been playing it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> but we get right here, and there's a locked door right here, and we have no idea what to do. But, oh, this thing's coming. You got this little beak statue. You could check him, but it says the beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. But that doesn't really give us a hand. But if you actually take this little thing and push it this way, bang, the path opens up, and you got a little trick there. Now we gotta beat these little guys. They look like the uh, spinies from Mario. You just gotta hit them with your shield. They'll fall on their back. Then you can start whapping on them. What's good? They take two hits. And then we complete this floor. And look at this. We unlock a stairwell. So now we can go down in here. And this is a cool little section. Look at this little section right here. We got this, like, little 2D side-scrolling section. Whoa, what's up with the frame drops there? That's crazy. But we're good. We're chilling. Look, we got Goompas here, too. What you want, Goompas? Yee! Oh, back then I used my magic powder. I didn't even mean that. I don't want to waste any of that. But now that we take out the Goompas, we can actually climb up this ladder and head all the way over here. As you can see, there's, like, hearts in the air, but we can't really get them yet. Yo, look at these chumps. What you want? Ah! Get out of here, boy. We got this chest chilling here, and we're actually going to obtain the dungeon's item, which is Rock's Feather. So, what Rock's Feather actually does it, is it allows you to jump up in the air. So, if we take it, we're going to mark it with Y. So, we can just say yeet and hit Y. Now, we can jump and do a flip. So, now we can grab that heart now and head all the way back and start completing other puzzles within the dungeon. We're going to hop over here. Yeet. Look at this. And now, we can use this item outside the dungeon and all that. And we can, like, get things that we couldn't get before. All right. We're heading back this way. Look at this. We can jump over here and just take a quick shortcut instead of walking all the way around. Yeet. Jump that. Slap on you. Get out of my face. We're actually going to make our way to the right side this time. Let me check the map real quick. Just see what we're doing. So, look at everything there is to discover. This is crazy. We have so much to discover. But, let's go. Let's make our way over here. What you want, little guys? Can we... Oh, we can't slap this little fireball, dudes. We can do that to them. So, yeah, baby. Get out of my face. N knock this guy down here. What's up? Now we can jump over here. Look at that, dude. Rock's feathers coming in clutch right now. 
use one of our small keys to open that up and then we got this chest right here like this comp is acting like we don't know that there's a chest right here and we get the nightmare key now you can open the door to the nightmare layer so it's basically the boss key that opens the door to the boss layer or the boss door so we can eat on over here get weapon over here did we get the dungeon map oh we did i forget where we got it at <laughs> But we did get it, which is cool. Can we hop over this wall? No, we cannot. That's ridiculous. No, we cannot, man. I really thought we could. But it's all good. We're just going to make our way over here. Look at this bat. And we got these new foes. I believe these are called Stallness. I forget what they're called. But they're skeletons. We can just actually just whap on them real quick and use one of our last small key actually to open up this door right here. Make our way over here. What's up, skeleton dude? What's up? What you want? He actually hops away from our attack, so we're not really dealing with him right now. Ah! We got these little lightning balls. We're gonna rocks feather over here. Get out of my face. I don't really like messing with them. And if we come right here, we got the mini boss for the dungeon. It's this little blob guy. He's gonna throw that at us. And usually the mini bosses, we use our uh, item to defeat them. So we got rocks feather. We can hop over that log and start whapping on him. Get out of here. We just whoop on him. See how easy that was? The mini boss is easy. We just ripped them up. And the mini boss actually drops a fairy and a spawn point. So now we can go back to the beginning in this little portal and to here from the beginning. And the fairy actually gives you back all your hearts. So right there is actually... Wait, hold up. Oh! That door right there is actually where we can use the boss key and verse the boss here. But we're actually going to head down these stairs and finish up everything that we have to do in this dungeon before we verse the boss. Yeet. <laughs> Look at this little swing. Yeet. We got hearts down there. Is there anything else we could do here? I don't think so. I think it was just hearts here. Let's keep walking here and see if there's any like, secrets. There's a path up there, but I don't think we can get to it. But we're just going to keep making our way back this way and completing up the dungeon. We can actually check out our map and then see everything. So we're going to look at the map right here. And we missed a chest right here. And we missed, there's a chest right here. So we got all these different chests right here that we can do. The stairway takes us there. That stairway takes us... Where's this stairway? Now, this stairway, these two are connected. And this stairway brings us somewhere else. Alright, we chillin', we chillin'. So now, before we head into the boss door, we're actually just gonna... Ah! Oh, we took a hit there. We're actually gonna make our way. I'm just gonna float right here. Get in this little portal. Go back to the beginning so we go complete a couple other things before we move on. So, we actually didn't make a right here yet. We made the left. We completed everything over there. So, we're gonna make this right, right here. And start swamping on all these enemies. What's good, yo? We gotta actually... You actually have to get them up against the wall in order to get a shot on them. Just like that. Bang. You get out of my face. And here drops another chest. And I believe this door should open? I guess not. But we're gonna open up this chest. And right in here, we have the dungeon map. So this is what I wanted. I knew we didn't have the map. I was looking at it and it was just like that. But here we go. Now we can see everything. And this door actually leads... Can we go through here? Yeah, we can. This door actually flips us back to this side. Now we can check out what else we have to do. There's a, okay, there's a path over here and there's two more chests. We can actually, there's a path up there and there's a chest over here. So we're going to go figure out how to get these chests real quick. Ah, get out of my face. So it says there's a chest right here. We just got to figure out how to get it. And there's actually, wait a minute, let me rip on you. There's actually a bombable wall here, but we don't have bombs yet. So I'm just going to mark it on our map. I'm just going to put, no, no, not that. Just change that to that right here. We're going to mark. Circles are for bombs, I'm gonna mark. So I'm gonna mark that there so we can get that later. Which is wonderful. Yo, what you want, fool? Now we're just gonna defeat all the enemies right here. Start ripping on them. And once you defeat all the enemies, so since we defeat that, uh, that skeleton before, the chest will appear. We can grab it. We actually need some hearts. We're running low. Especially if we got a boss fight coming up to him. Bang! We got ourselves a beautiful red rupee. Joy! <laughs> so now all that is left is one chest, which is right here. Let's go grab it. Let's go get it, baby. I believe it's through this door. Yeah, this door then up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We chilling now. What's up, bats? Get out of my face. And now we can actually head up this way. What you want? Can we head up this way? Yeah, look at this. We, there's just a room right here. Okay, so with all this, we actually have to match these little symbols. So we're going to start off. We got diamonds. There's another diamond. Bye. Oh, no, I didn't swing. Oh, we're down to a heart, bro. Leave me alone. Yeet, there we go. Get all of them, they will actually give us the last chest that we need for this dungeon. And we're actually like so low on hearts. Is there any way we can get some hearts? <laughs> we're gonna grab this chest and see what it gives us. And it actually gives us the stone beak. It fits perfectly into these owl statues. So you can go in here and put it in their noses and then they'll just like 
spit out a little wisdom. So turn aside a spine one with the shield. So the spine easy tells us how to kill them. So they just, they just show us wisdom, but we're gonna try to kill these fools and hopefully they drop us a heart. <gasps> no, they got they gave us a piece of power though. That'll double up our attack for right now. We're gonna head over here. Try to get hearts out of these guys. Yes, there's one heart. Can we get one more before we go? Come here, bat. What you want, fool? Do what you want! He's not even coming over here. Do I risk it? Go for the heart here? Yeah, we're going for it. You better have a heart, punk. What's up? No, you punk. What you got? We can't really do much with these guys. They just have a shell. We can whack on them as much as we want. They ain't gonna give us nothing. But I believe we should be fine with two hearts on this boss fight. We'll check these little... No, those guys didn't respawn. So I guess we're gonna have to be good with two hearts on our first boss fight. But now that we have everything, we can actually keep making our way towards this way. There actually, I think there's a couple more skeletons, maybe, but... Actually, I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna use Rock's Feather to hop over here. There's a little portal right there. We're just gonna ditch it. Ah! Get out of here, you punks. Stop here real quick. Make our way this way. Watch out for these boys. And now open up the boss door. Look at this. We're heading in here for our first boss fight. Look at this thing. He's a giant caterpillar. Buzz, buzz, outsider. <laughs> Let's get him. His name is Moldorm. So what he does is he's just a giant caterpillar. And as you can see, he has this bright red orb on his back. We can actually hit that and he gets angry, yo. He starts steaming, cooking really fast. These boss fights aren't too hard. We just kind of run around, dodge him and all that until he respawns that. And we can whack that again and say, yee, baby. Yeah, like I was saying, these boss fights aren't that hard. I think we're almost done. I think it's a three-hit boss fight. <laughs> But he's gonna steam around again. We just dodge out to the outside. Yeet. He turns really, really mad. Okay, it wasn't three. It might be four. Look how quick he's moving now, but he's not going near us. Oh! Speaking of the devil, he's coming near us. Get out of my face! You almost stumbled on him. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. We got this rock feather. We can just keep hopping, dodging around here. Oh, no. We can actually hit him now. We should have time our hit just right. Ah! We got him! We got the last hit! We snuck it in there! Look at this guy! He's just blowing up and everything! <laughs> Let's go! And after each dungeon, we get a full heart container. So this will, first of all, replenish our health and give us one bonus heart. So now we have four. Let's get it! Let's get it! Now we can actually make our way through this little door right here and pick up the item for this dungeon, which is the full moon cello! Huzzah! Yeah, so the main point of this game is to collect all the instruments from all the dungeons to wake the the fish. But let's get it. Look at that tune. Mwah. That is a beautiful tune. The full moon cello plays perfectly. Look at that. Now we go back outside of the cave. Swamp. Why does it say swamp? <laughs> a path opens. In the blooms now that we have finished up tails cave there's actually a couple more things i want to do before we actually end off the episode but we're gonna actually start heading back to town once we start walking out my boy mr owl comes out to lead us on where we should go next who that is an instrument of the sirens i have to admit at first i did not believe you were real that instrument along with the seven others in the set has the power to wake the wind fish you must collect them all i was instructed to give you directions your next goal is north in the Gapanga Swamp. Who, indeed. So there we go. That is what we need to do. We have to head north to the Gapanga Swamp to get our next instrument. There's actually seven he just told us this. And look at these little Octorok boys. So right now we're actually going to head back to town because I want to grab something real quick and do a quick mini game. Then we can end off the episode there. But, dude, that dungeon was so fun. And they only get better from here. Like, I'm loving this remake so far. Everything about it is just phenomenal. As we make it back to the town, kiddo say, Hey buddy, it's serious. Yeah, real serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to, to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m Moblins. So, I mean, ah! <laughs> it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay, so they're not going to tell us what happened. So, we're going to head to the house that they were saying. Talk to Mama Jamma over here. Let's talk to her. Hey, it's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m m Moblins. Oh, ah, please somebody help my poor Bow Wow. So Bow Wow was actually stolen by the Moblins, and that's what we are going to have to do in order 
to save out this quest and everything. But we're actually going to be doing that one in the next episode. So we're just going to be chilling right now. What I want to do right now is actually... Oh, what is this? I want to check out this and I want to head up there real quick. What's this real quick? No, we can't do anything. Well, let's, let's read it. Check. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Okay, so it's just like a little pedestal. I only remember that because like in other games you can actually, uh, there are spawn points. But what I want to actually do is head all the way over here and talk to this fisherman. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll charge you only 10 rupees. Heck yeah, we want to fish. So right here is a fishing mini game, which we can actually win pieces of hearts and different items by doing this. Oh, I wasn't reading directions. You can tug on your line by moving the left stick. If you want to reel it in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. All right, let's get it. Look at the fishing pond. <laughs> All right. <Yay. laughs> All right, we can jig the rod. We can A's real. Come on, little buddy. Bite it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Reel in the moon. When they swim back, you have to let them swim back and let them, like, tug the line. Just let them go, and then you reel in when he's not tugging the line. So we're going to reel him up here. Look at him. <laughs> There's actually three things I want to catch before we move on here. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, this is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I miss these old Zelda games. Like, I love Breath of the Wild, but I don't know. There's something about these ones. Just, I don't know. Hits me at home. <laughs> Come on. Get up here. Let him go one more time. Yeet him in here. Get in here, big dog. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah! We caught a fish! You landed a little fish, just like you. It's small, but it has plenty of fight. It's a 9.05 inch rut. You gotta dream bigger than that. A fish like that... A fish like that's worth, let's see here, 11 rupees. Hmm. Is there something caught in the fish's mouth? Boom! We get ourselves a piece of heart from the fish. He must have ate it or something that was in his mouth. And now we want to actually fish again. We actually made our rupees back, made one more back. So we're actually going to give it a yeet kiss. Yee, baby! And as you can see, in the bottom left corner, you guys can't see it. It's behind my webcam. There's actually a hidden bottle down there that we're actually going to get. So you guys can't see it, which is hilarious. It is in the grass and all that. But we're going to try to hook this little empty bottle, which can be used to, like, pick up fairies and all that in there. And as you can hear the cling and everything, we can actually now reel it in. And these fish are actually going to try... Those punks! Those punks! They knocked it out of... The fish tried to knock it out. So we're gonna have to kiss again. Now it's behind the bush. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going for that bottle again. This fish is guarding it. We got it. Okay, so the bottle is on the hook. We're just gonna... Scrape it up against the bottom floor. Look, can you guys see it? We're pulling it right up against the bottom. It should be right next to my webcam now. Going under this fish. So he doesn't knock it off. Leave me alone, fish. Come on, come on, come on. All right, settle down. That fish is coming. Oh, my lord. Reel it in. I want this bottle, baby. No! Land on the floor. Don't you dare take the bait, you hunk of junk. Yes, we dodged him. Let's get this bottle now. They're attracted to the bottle, so we can only go when he's going away. Oh, my God, dude. These fish are so annoying. Little fish. Leave me alone. Come on, get it up there. Reel it in. Yes, we finally got it. <laughs> it took me actually a good amount of tries. That big fish was giving me a tough time. But bang, we get ourselves a fairy bottle. Now we can hold fairies and all different items within this bottle. And we are not going to be fishing because that medium fish actually swam away. So we got to wait a little bit in order to get him. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to start heading up to the Kapanga Swamp and saving Bow Wow the Chain Chomp that went missing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.